What happened? He said, I'm going to gamble and called? Ace five, boom! How ridiculously huge is this pool? There we go. It's queen jack against queens. Samartino, the original raiser, 7.5k. The three bet from Mazza, start of day chip leader, 17k. Samartino re raises to 42k. And that is an adventurous four bet from the queen jack offsuit. Ooh. So a four bet pot, the open ended straight draw for Samartino. And these I are guess. two deep stacks, Braggy. Yeah, I guess when you four bet, this is about as good as you get for the queen jack, other than you know flopping trips or the straight itself. But picking up an open ender, it's going to be enough for Samartino to continue. Samartino out of position, but with the pre flop betting lead, continues for 35k. But it's one of those where you still have to proceed with a bit of caution and just hope that you don't see a king or an ace on the turn. Caution, my friend, has been thrown to the wind because Mazza has just raised to 75k. And as we can see, this is actually going to put San Martino's hand in a pretty awkward spot. I mean, he does have the open end of straight draw, but this pot is already fairly sizable. I wouldn't expect him to fold. All in. Wow. wow. I mean, this has just been a mega raising war, pre-flop and on the flop. This so, is the most aggressively played Queen Jack I've seen in quite some time. Incredible. Samartino is shot for 273k. And we can see, so Maz has got 246 behind. It's around 200k to call. So it's for most of his chips. And yes, he's got the best hand, but considering the pre-flop action, you're going to be legitimately worried about kings and aces here. That said... Folding queens here is just going to make you throw up in the mouth a little bit. I would be very surprised to see him find a lay down here. But again, the, it's this is the, the situation you kind of create for yourself in, in raising on the flop. Wow. The best hand is folded. And Darius Martino's pure aggression takes down that pot. Okay, Timothy Adams uh, is feeling happier now. He was a bit disappointed, but now he's happy. Given what we've seen from Zaytun, Adams is 100% check raising this board. And given what we've seen from Zaytun, I don't know if we're gonna see him fold this hand. This could be a monster pot. Both players with over 75 big blinds. Zaytun bet 20,000. Tim Adams responded with a check raise. And Zaytun responded with a re-raise? So yeah, the check raise was to 61k. Zaytun has three bet with his over pair, 140k. It's not just a flat call, Fenton. It's a four bet. Wow, he pulls the trigger. Adams is going to call, and Zaytun's going to get the terrible news. How ridiculously huge is this pot? There's 1.5 million in the middle. Adams, the player at risk, but he is a 9-1 to one favorite. And surely this is going to give him the chip lead. And should Zaytun lose this, if he doesn't improve, he's going to be left with just 87k. Fewer than nine big blinds. 10 on the turn. And Johan Zaytun drawing to two outs, needing a queen on the river. It's a deuce. So Tim Adams gets a huge double up. Franco opening with six, five hearts. Wei Huang has ace five in the big blind. A stack of four million. Going to defend and we are going to see a flop. 1.3 million in the middle. Nine, five, three. Ollie. Ollie. Who just say Ollie? Who just shoved? Grico. Huang checked to him and Grico shoves. We have seen him make this move once before when he showed ace high on queen nine four. Made Ryan Reese fold middle pair previously. Will Wang make the call here with second pair? It's exactly the same situation. This time Grico does actually have a piece of the board, but Huang has him out kicked. This is a big decision. Is Wang that'll be at risk? And of course, we know that Ryan Reese right now has 11 big blinds, something that he's 100% going to be considering. 
he makes the call, he's going to be in great shape for the double up. But I think you're right, Fintan, the fact that Greco played that hand against Reese exactly the same and showed that it was a bluff will inform this decision. Last time Bank is in there, 30 seconds to make up his mind. So the next countdown is the last. Clock hits zero now, his hand will be declared dead. He calls he the call. all in. Showdown. 6-5, ace-5, boom! And a 77% chance that Wei Huang doubles up here. Wang is the at-risk player, but is currently ahead. Four on the turn. Gives Greiko additional outs. He's got deuces, sixes and sevens working for him. 11 cards that could hit on the river that would eliminate Huang, but that is a blank. And Huang gets the double up through Greco. Greco all in on the button with Ace King. Manic Lurzer leaning in for the squeeze. The peel, 8 7. <clears throat> kind of foldable also. Okay. Gamble, gamble. What happened? He said, I'm going to gamble and called? Oh, wow. Holy live cards, okay, Batman. Oh, he doesn't look happy. Lurzer's had enough. <laughs> I mean, it's a situation where you want the call, but it's also a situation where you don't want the call. <laughs> Eight, seven on the flop. Oh, Greco flopped nearly dead. What a way to go. Greco came in today as the overwhelming chip leader. Many thought he would be out after the first few hours when things fell apart. He is drawing dead on the turn. Done. Nicola Greco is out of here.